been a fantastic season, whatever happens. Do you think they're they're going to make fourth? They've gone to the the last three games. They've got a massive game against Man City away, um, May the fifth, I think. Obviously, they've got Bolton at home on Saturday, which everyone thinks they're going to walk, but not necessarily. Bolton, you never know what they, what's going to turn up with them. And they've got Burnley away, so they obviously should win that one. So it looking to me that the Man City game is the big one. They're still above them in the league. If they can get something out of that game in terms of a, even a draw, so they don't get three points above, um, they can do it. Um, they've got a great opportunity, yes. They've been living in Arsenal's shadow for a long time. Can you ever see Spurs overtaking Arsenal as the top club in North London? Well, of course I can. I mean, they hadn't beaten them home for like 10 years or so, so it was quite a lot of games that they hadn't beaten them at home. Um, but no, I mean, it's uh, they've got a, a good squad, they've got a big squad at the moment. Um, with the addition of maybe one or two, you know, they're going to be, should be up there in the top four and pushing for it, you know. Well, I couldn't say forever because teams go up and down, but, you know, they should be pushing for it for the next two or three seasons to get, to get up into the Champions League. And if, you know, as I say, financially, it's always financially, isn't it? Financially, if the players get paid what they want, They'll come if they don't, they won't, and things like that. And so is, there's a lot into it to, before you know players come. But uh, I think some players will go this season, and Harry will bring some players in. And your overall thoughts on mm. Harry's job? I mean, he's aiming for fourth this season. Could it even get better next season? How's he doing? No, he's done well. He, didn't, he only came in last year. They were second from bottom or bottom, I think, with two points, and you know got them up to well up the league. And uh, so this year has been a, even better. So perhaps he can go further and further. Um, he, he'll want to, that's for sure. Um, supporters are behind him. Um, the only thing I don't know what's happening, I don't know what's happening with the stadium. Because yeah. it would be nice to have 60,000 there. Like when I was playing there, we got 60,000. And that was because people stood up. Now they only get 35, 36,000, where Arsenal are getting 60,000 because they, they've got a new stadium. So. Hopefully this new stadium comes about pretty soon and they get more people through the turnstile so they'll have more money to spend. Could Spurs be challenging for the title in the next few years? Uh, I don't think they'll be challenging quite for the title, but it takes time to build a team up. And, you know, there's not, There isn't an Abramovich around or, or the Man City owners who've got millions to spend. So that's not the case with Tottenham. So you know, you've, got to, you've got to build it up through the players that you... That you bring in and that you and that you bring through. I mean, Gareth Bale in particular uh, hadn't had a very good 18 months. Suddenly, he's playing out of his skin. So Harry may have sold him at one stage, but suddenly he kept hold of him because he knew him at Southampton as well. And he's done a great job with him because the boy is playing out so well. He's I keep asking him if he's if he's English or not. He said no, he's Welsh. So yeah. unfortunately, we, he's, got, English, he's got to yeah. stick with with Wales. And your general thoughts on the England team? How how do you think we're shaping up? Well, I just get worried about the problems we get through injuries i.e. Rooney's got a problem now and he had one in one of the previous World Cups uh, like Michael Owen did as well um, Rio Ferdinand I, I read in the paper the other day that they said Ledley King has played 16 times for the Tottenham in the Premiership and Rio Ferdinand's only played 11 for Man United why don't they pick Ledley that's what the paper said so I thought oh yeah why not and uh, so Obviously, Rio was out of the weekend as well, so I don't know what's going wrong with him, but he's got a he's got an injury. I mean, Ashley Cole has now got back after breaking an ankle, so hopefully he'll be fine. But just worry about the injuries as much as anything that could, could cause us problems rather than the lads not playing well. So do you think the injuries could cost England the chance to do what you did 44 years ago and win the World Cup? Well, we lost uh, in, in 66. We lost the greatest goal scorer England have ever had. That was Jimmy Greaves. Uh, I think it's 57 games and 44 goal, goals. So you could, you know, no one can beat that in terms of goals against games. Um, but obviously everything changed around, and Jeff first came into the side, and uh, Alf changed the system, and it, it paid off for us. And uh, so, um, but I just think if, if we have an injury to, let's say, Wayne Rooney, again, that uh, you know that will cause us more problems than, than what we had in '66.